Welcome. Uh, what I want to do today is show you how to solve 2 thirds plus 3m over 5 equals 31 over 15. And you can see we're dealing with some fractions, a lot of different fractions, right? And the important thing to notice is a different fractions. They all have different denominators. So a technique that we can use, the way I'm going to show how to do this problem, is when solving this, one important thing that we can use is um, get rid of the fractions. Right? There's all these different fractions, and we could, there is a possible way to get them to be all sound at the same denominator, but I want to show you that way. I like to get rid of the fractions um, entirely so I don't have to worry about them. So for this problem, to get rid of the fractions, all right, what we got to do is you got to think about it. Well, if I wanted to get rid of the fraction 3, I would have to multiply by 3, right? Because 3 times 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So therefore, these, or you could just say 3 times 3, or 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, right? So I get rid of the fraction. However, since this is an equation, whatever I multiply, if I multiply a fraction by one number, I have to multiply it by everything. So if I multiply this by 3, however, that's not going to get rid of my fraction. I'm still going to have a 5 in the denominator. So multiplying by 3 is not going to work. Ah, not on my shoe. Sorry. So now I look at the next one, and I say, all right, well, to get rid of this, I'd have to multiply by 5. Again, it will work for this one, but it won't work for that. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, we, need to pick the, did not, or we need to pick a number that is going to be its common multiple of all of our denominators. So we look at what is the common denominator or, common multiple, or least common multiple of 3, 5, and 15. And it ends up, the reason why I stopped at 15, because it ends up being 15. All three of these numbers divide evenly into 15. And that's so important because now I can multiply all of my numbers by 15. And when by doing that, I am going to eliminate all of my denominators because they divide into 15. So let's divide them all into 15. 3 divided by 15 is 5 times 2 plus 5 divided by 15 is 3 times 3m equals 15 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 31. Please call extension 1001. Ms. Lucas, please call extension 1001. I'm just going to continue this video because I don't want to make another one. Sorry. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 times 3 is 9m equals 31. So now you can see um, what we've done here. So what I can do is I'll just subtract 10 on both sides, and now I obtain 9m equals uh, 21. So we have a two-step equation, which is good. Subtraction property of equality produces my equivalent equation here. Now I can just divide by 9 on both sides, and I get m equals 21 over 9. And then we go and take a look and we say, all right, can we reduce this fraction at all? And yes, um, we can. Actually, 3 divides into the numerator and the denominator. So when you divide 3, you get 7 thirds, which um, we could put as you know, a decimal, but I like prefer to leave it as a fraction. So that's how I'm going to answer my question. So the solution of m is 7 thirds. That means when m is equal to 7 thirds, this equation is true. Thank you.